In this video, we are going to install this 5K dash cam provided by Lindu for review. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Greg and in this channel, I create product reviews, mods, install guides of cool car accessories and gadgets. Three inch IPS screen. On the top, you have your USB Type-C charging port. Next to that, you have your AV port. You can plug in your optional rear camera. This here is where you'll plug your mount. Here is your mount. You simply just slide it into place. On the bottom, you would have your ventilation and your reset button. On the side, you have your included 64 gig micro SD card. The card slot can support up to 128 gigs. Here we have your up button, your menu button, and your down button. On the other side, you have your OK and record button, your mode button, your lock button, followed by your power button. The front camera records up to 5K at 25 frames per second. Includes a 12-foot Type-C power cable, a 12-volt plug adapter with an additional USB port, extra adhesive and mount, cable clips and a pry tool, two electrostatic films, and your user manual. First, you want to locate where you want to install your dash cam. I will place mine here to the right of the rear view mirror. Make sure you clean the windshield and then go ahead and use your electrostatic film. Then we go ahead and grab your dash cam, peel off the sticker, and then push firmly into place. You do have the option if you want to remove the camera. You simply slide it to your right and pull down. To reinstall, push it in and slide to the left to lock it into place. Next, we go ahead and plug in your power adapter. You take one end, the USB end, go ahead and plug it on top. You're going to route this and we're just going to tuck it in under the headliner. So you just hide the wires under the headliner, down the A pillar, all the way down to your 12 volt plug adapter. Next we go ahead and peel off this protective cover. Let's go ahead and turn on the vehicle. So here is your home screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and download the app to have easier access to the settings. Or you can go press the button on the side to go to your settings menu. Go ahead and download the app. And go ahead and open the app. Then you're going to go ahead and connect to the camera's Wi-Fi. Go to your Wi-Fi. Select Lingdu. You're going to enter your password, which your default password is 1234567 Now we're connected. Now let's go ahead and check real-time video. And we're all set. 
Now we're going to go to the settings menu, the same one on the dash cam, but we're going to access through our phone. Before you can access, you want to hit stop recording and then hit the gear on the top right corner. And here we have your general settings. We have your video resolution, which allows you to choose desired video resolution and frames per second. Next, you have your loop recording. Here you can select between one, three, and five minutes of each video clip for the loop recording. This function allows the dash cam to continuously record. Here, you can toggle on and off your audio recording. The dash cam has a built-in microphone to record audio. Here, you can change your encoding format to H.264 or H.265. Next, we have your G sensor. You can turn that on low, medium, or high. Your G sensor is a three axis impact gravitational accelerometer designed to detect physical and gravitational forces on the dash cam. You have time lapse parking mode. If you have a hard wire kit, you can toggle on and off your time lapse parking mode. You can also choose your recording time for time lapse parking mode. You can turn on and off the G sensor while in parking mode. You can adjust your video exposure. It's a setting for either brighter or darker videos according to your preference. You can turn off your screensaver, have it turn off in one minute, three minutes, or five minutes. You can toggle on and off your key tone, and you also have voice control. You have voice commands such as Turn on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is on. Turn off Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is off. Take a picture. Open recording. Recording started. Turn off recording. Recording stopped. Lock video. Emergency video. Show front camera. Front camera display. You can show rear camera. If you have the optional rear camera, rear camera turn off display, screen on. open screen. screen on. You have your date and time watermarks. You can adjust your frequency depending on your location. If you install the optional rear camera, you can flip the image. You can change your speed unit depending on your country. You can adjust your time zone, change your date and time format. You have your SD card information. Then you have your system settings. Here we have your Wi-Fi. You can format your SD card. You can go back to your default settings, your app version, and your firmware version. On your home screen, you have your albums. We're gonna stop the recording first to gain access. Go ahead and click on albums. Right now, we have no events that were recorded. Anything triggered by your G sensor. And of course, we have your videos that were normally recorded and your photos that were taken. When you're ready to download, go ahead and click the video. And you have the option to download or delete the video. You can turn off your audio recording. You can switch your camera front versus rear right now I have no rear camera and you can change the resolution of your camera
if you have not done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.